Welcome back to our channel YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgian. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer at The Lifestyle Co. And I am back with another what I love and what I would leave here at my house, the ODL house. We built the ODL house about nine months ago and there is a ton of coverage here on our YouTube channel and, and on Instagram as well. My personal handle is at Kristen Forgione and our brand account is at The Lifestyle Co. But we covered the build from the very, very beginning to the very, very end and now even nine months later. So the last video that we put out was me giving you a quick breeze through the kitchen where I'm standing here now, very hungry I might add. Um, showing you and talking to you about what worked and what didn't as a professional designer, what went the way I envisioned it, now that I've lived here for nine months, what I wouldn't recommend to clients, and all of those things. We got a ton of comments on the video asking for me to do it at, for every room in my house. I don't know that I'll be able to hit every room, but today I am gonna walk you back through my bathroom and my closet and share with you my thoughts about those spaces. But first, I cannot film hungry. <laughs> I need a snack and Ritual Protein Powder has become a staple in my snack routine. So before I make a smoothie with you, um, I should tell you, I've tried just about every protein powder on the market and I'm also super, super picky. I'm not one of those people that can just like choke it back. My husband, he can literally like just get it back. It doesn't matter what it tastes like or what it is. I'm the complete opposite. I'm a super picky eater. I like things to not only nourish me, but also taste good going down. So protein powder is hard for me. I think by and large protein powder tends to taste kind of crappy. Um, Ritual protein powder is not that way at all. I think it passes truly 10 out of 10 on the flavor test. This is vanilla. It's my favorite. I like it the most. Their protein powder is made from pea protein, regenerative farming peas. So look that up if you don't know what that is. It's highly sustainable. Um, it's also super clean. It's vegan, it's soy free, it's gluten free. There is no added sugar. So it just, it's one of those protein powders that is as clean as it can be and it really tastes amazing too. So I'm gonna put in one scoop in my already, this is almond milk and frozen blueberries. And I like to use frozen blueberries because they kind of act as like little ice cubes. So I, I don't have to add any additional ice. And then I put in just this little kind of tail end of the banana, put this on. I'm using my Ninja, which if you don't know about Ninja, it's a good one. Um, it's gonna get really loud here for a second, so hold on. Okay, she's done. Um, and look at this amazing natural color. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. So, so good. I'm like a banana blueberry fiend. I also love, like, I was gonna say berry banana, which is the same thing, I guess, but like more berries than bananas. Not a big chocolate peanut butter fan. Where did my top go? Okay, this is one of the reasons I love the Ninja, is this little guy just goes right on here, and then you can take it and walk, which is what we're gonna do next. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. The vanilla is so rich, but it's not too sweet at all. Um, anyway, so Ritual is subscription-based. They're giving me 20% off for you guys for your first month. Um, don't be scared that it's, that it's subscription based. I truly feel like if you sign up for the subscription, you get the product, they have a 30 day money back guarantee, like complete satisfaction. Or if you, for whatever reason, don't want to continue your subscription, they really do make cancellations easy. So I feel like don't let that be the thing that deters you from trying it. It is so, so, so good. I'm picky as hell. Like I told you. Um, but Ritual, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. With that, let's go over to my primary suite for my bathroom and my closet. Okay guys, here we are in the primary bath. This is about how we keep it on the regular. I'm kind of a freak when it comes to bathroom spaces. I like them to be clean. I get overwhelmed if they're too messy. So I pretty much always leave my curly iron out, which you'll see there. Um, things I love. I absolutely love the his and her side-by-side -side sinks. I absolutely love the mirrors over the window. It's a little bit tricky right now because it's actually in the afternoon. So the sun is on the other side of the house. So I'm a little bit backlit with this, this window situation, but in the morning when I'm getting ready, the light that is just coming through, flooding through that window and around the mirror is exactly how I envisioned it to be. 
I also placed sconces on either side of the mirrors so that if I needed any additional light, it would be coming at me, not down on me, which is something you always wanna do when you're designing lighting in a bathroom. Uh, but I absolutely love it. I was also a little bit weary about not having any drawers here and having the faucets mounted on the side. I love it. I don't miss the drawers in any way, shape, or form. I'm gonna show you right here my kind of cabinet situation, but I fully endorse it. I truly think it is one of the things that makes this space so unique. Um, I actually think I'm gonna add some LED lighting. It's kind of hard to see, but do you see that down there? I think I'm gonna add some LED strip lighting along the bottom, maybe even motion sensor, not in crazy colors, just regular colors, just a nice warm ambient 3,500 Kelvins. <laughs> so that when we walk in the bathroom at night, that kind of lights from below. I feel like it'll be really hotel-like. Haven't done that yet, but um, this whole thing, I still love, love, love so much. On our way to the cabinet, the tub, I'm still obsessed with the tub. I use it, I'd say four times a week. It was such a great find. We'll link it in the description. It's from Home Depot. It was under $2,000, I wanna say. I love that I have a wall mounted, or I'm sorry, a floor mounted filler here. I'll turn it on. It's so chic. And then I also have a wall mounted handheld there, which I use them in combination all the time. I love the two water sources. I absolutely love the plumbing wall. It worked out so well. Again, I wasn't sure how that was gonna turn out, but I love, 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 love it so much. Okay, then in here, this is my storage. And I have drawers below, which is what I use for makeup, brushes, all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is where I have everything in my life for my bathroom use. Okay, so again, I wasn't totally sure how I was gonna feel not having storage underneath in my vanity, but I freaking love it so much, I don't think I'll go back. It's so awesome having everything at like eye height, eye and arm height. So when I open this, I can see everything I have. I have it like loosely organized and this is all my hair product and kind of bath body stuff, toothbrush, this is like my everyday stuff right here. Um, AO2, if you haven't heard of this, it's amazing stuff, check my Instagram. Um, and then these are like my vitamins, more everyday skincare stuff. Then my beauty fridge, which I absolutely love. I've got all my daily beauty stuff in there. It's a game changer. If you don't have a beauty fridge, it's a great like $40 purchase on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon list in the description also. Um, my Keurig in here, you guys have a coffee machine in my bathroom. Again, love, love, love. I can honestly tell you, I didn't even plan that in the build. I just, one day after living here for a little bit, was like, I would really love to make coffee in here. And I have my cabinet wired for power, obviously, because that's what an interior designer should do for you. Um, so you can plug stuff in and charge things and all that jazz. And I just thought, why wouldn't I put a coffee machine in here? So measure carefully, it works beautifully. It's a little Keurig. Um, I actually don't have the cups in there right now because I put them all in the dishwasher. But I love this design. There's truly nothing in here, at least in terms of storage, that I would change. We have plenty of storage, so much natural light. Um, what else do people ask you about? The floors. People ask all the time how I deal with wood floors in my bathroom. And you wanna know what? It's so easy because it's just like any other floor. <laughs> Truly. Um, we have no issues with it whatsoever. We also don't let water stand. So if there's any water, we clean it up. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. I absolutely love it. Again, I wouldn't change a thing. Okay, before I go any further, don't forget, I'm giving you like the Blair Witch version of you, me, and my tripod, and my camera here. If you wanna see a closer look at all the finishes, really get a good understanding for the space in high production value um, to house tour, I uh, will link the videos. They're all over our channel. Just look for the ODL house playlist. Um, I wanna say this one is the primary bath reveal. I think it has its own video actually. Um, but there's also a compilation video if you want to just spend like an hour with me touring my house. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. The only thing I would change in here is in the primary shower, we do not have a door here. So this is 10 feet of glass. The shower is pretty big. My husband never gets cold, but I kind of do. And I'm thinking about adding a door. And I knew I could add a door if I wanted to. So that's kind of why I was like, you know what? Let's see if we like it or if we need it, if I'm cold. I'm not cold when I have all of the valves on, so the rain shower, cold shower heads, everything, but I don't obviously need to do that on the regular. It's very wasteful when it comes to water use, so I try not to do that. 
um, but I think I will be adding a door. So I would say the only thing I don't love in this space and probably need some work is the door situation on the shower. Um, I still love the skylights. I love the tile surround. All of that information is already on YouTube. If you want more of it, um, like I said, we'll link the videos in the description. You can also search them right up. You can like and subscribe, follow all the things while you're here. Um, I think that concludes kind of my very quick version of love it or leave it in my primary bath. Let me take you to my closet. The light is a little tricky in this space, but this angle does give you a good understanding of where my closet is. So it's right off of our primary bathroom. On this side is our bed wall. So our bed wall has two entrances into this space. So it's kind of a thoroughfare, right? You can walk around. And then our gym is on the other side of my husband's closet. So my closet is a galley. I want you to go and watch the video of my dream closet. I truly cannot believe that it's mine. The closet I came from was like this big, teeny, 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 tiny. I have absolutely no idea how I fit half of my clothes in there because I have basically filled this closet up, including my shoes. I did not reorganize this at all. So it's like a little bit of a shit show. Look at this one. I need to put my boots up there, get ready for spring, summer. Um, but this is what the shoes look like on a regular and I could probably use more shoe storage if I'm being honest. Um, but I love the design of this closet. There's like practically nothing I would change. Um, I literally think it's so highly functional. The team over at Classy Closets is who did my closets. Sarah um, Owen is my designer. Like I said, so much information already out there if you just go look for it. It'll be there. Of course, ask questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, but for shoes, I'm good. Where it gets a little dicey in terms of design is only that I have too many clothes for this design. Should have made my closet bigger, which is completely insane because the closet is huge and like a dream closet for sure. But I am a pretty organized person. I mean, I know it's hard to tell right now, but I haven't spent a whole lot of time um, keeping it as perfect as can be, this is really what it looks like when I live here every day. But um, I need more hanging space. I think I, I also edit all the time. Like I'm constantly giving clothes away. I'm constantly giving things away, but I own a boutique, the Lifestyle Co. We're a full service interior design firm. And we also have three brick and mortar lifestyle shops here in Arizona. We sell online also, so no matter where you're located, we can probably get you something from us. But with that comes a lot of stuff, right? So I'm constantly getting new clothes and I just feel like I'm filling it out so fast. So I would say the only thing I could do differently in here is make it twice as big, which is probably not gonna happen. Okay, so you can see in the mirror there and you can see the tripod too. You guys were high tech today. Um, I'm on the other side of the closet now. So I was opposite where the shoes are. Now I'm down at the other end. So this is another exit to our primary bedroom. But um, I wanna leave you with this area, I would say is the only area that I really thought was such a good idea. I loved the sight line. So as soon as you walk in my primary doors, you look to the left and you see this beautiful chair, faux fur vignette, shelf, pretty moment. Um, it is just that, it's such a pretty moment and I needed some drawers. This is like mom stuff, like all, it's not organized at all. Um, all my filing stuff, like just things that I need, that I need to keep. Um, so I need those, but I really thought that I was gonna end up working from home a lot. I work from home on Tuesday, but I tend to not sit here in this corner, right? I'm out in, in the other side of my house. My girls are at school, so the house is pretty quiet. So I don't actually need to sit here that much. So I am actually thinking about taking this space and making more hanging space because I mentioned I needed that. Um, this could be where I end up putting my coats or like some low use stuff, but I still need to figure out how to keep these drawers and where if they don't stay here where all the stuff in the drawers goes because the drawer part is important. But so in this space, I would say the only thing that I don't love, the only, 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 only thing, and it's truly just because I don't use it as much as I could and I need more hanging space in this massive closet would be this landing area. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my very quick little at home tour of what I love and what I would change in my primary bath and my closet. Um, I went and grabbed my smoothie. Hold on. Mm. It's so good. And I just realized I filmed this whole video and didn't actually drink the snack that I like really needed. So now I'm so hungry. I'm probably gonna drink this in two seconds flat. Ritual, thank you so much for sponsoring the video. You can get 20% off your first month at Ritual using my code. Um, the link is also in the description. Talk to us. This video is 100% because 
several of you said, I want to see more of what you love and what you leave in your house um, in the comments. So we will always respond and do our best to, and I will catch you on the next one.